Brian Hildebrand, RxMuscle.com, here with the 2011 America's Strongest Man, Travis Ordmeyer. Travis, little struggle yesterday, redemption with the Farmer's Medley, 25-10. The Farmer's didn't look so horrible. That barrel looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, it's 240 pounds, roughly, of sloshing water. You know, there's no controlling it. You just got to kind of grin and bear it and get it done with as fast as you can. Because the more you fight it, the more it's going to beat you up. Is it the weight, the grip? What's what's the big challenge with it? I'd say it's all of the above. You know, if it was light, unwieldy wouldn't be a problem. But if it's heavy and unwieldy, awkward, no grip, it's it's a tough thing to carry. It's it's a beast to handle. Now, back home in Houston, do you train with an impediment like that to be to be able to prep for this kind of thing? That's a tough one to answer this year. This has kind of been a uh, mental and physical break for me. It's been, well, let's be honest, I haven't trained consistently since the Arnold. Maybe a dozen times, so I'm really here just kind of having fun and, you know, representing concrete and trying to have a good time, show up for my boys at Labrada and, you know, do what I can, promote the uh, sport and push the other guys to do their best. Well, I know I know the other athletes were happy to see you here. We, we haven't heard a lot from you in the past few months, and I think everybody was excited to see that you were going to be here. Uh, you, you certainly give credentials to this kind of event based on your history in strongman, whether in the world level or in the American level. So I was glad to be glad that you're here. Uh, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. That's you're, not... No, you're, 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 you're a legend in the American strength community for sure. <laughs> you, don't, you don't garner a nickname like the stone man just because you happen to lift heavy things. So uh, we got the car deadlift coming up next. You looked at it and had a comment. What was it? Oh, yeah. yeah I could do without it. You know, just, every joint in my body is hurting right now, and it just... Uh, it looks pretty heavy over there in that corner, right. sitting there kind of smirking at everybody. I noticed. It's at least, and it, Mike seems to pick out silver cars. I think our car last year in Hot Springs was silver, too. I was thinking the same thing. It's just kind of an evil color. Well, last year when we had the Harley, um, uh, uh, no, 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 was it the sled? That's right. No, 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 not the sled drag. Where we had the, we had the, the. The circle, the Conan's wheel. Conan's wheel yeah. We had a couple hot chicks on it. Yeah. I don't see any hot chicks in the car. <laughs> you know, it always makes an event a little easier with a bunch of hot women on it. You think they would use that more often? It's great for the crowd. It's great for the athlete. I'm going to lift it a hell of a lot more times just so I can drop it that many more times. Well, I'm thinking maybe I'll run over to the sumo event see if I can get a couple of the guys to jump in for you. I don't think you'll get a rep out of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody approached the car. So, hey, Travis, good luck. Get some rest before the next event. Um, this is a it's a trying event coming up for sure. Some guys are going to just suck at it, and other guys can knock a few out. So good luck to you. Great to see you, Trav. And uh, and I'm sure we're going to see more of you. Good to see you back. For Travis Ortmeyer, Brian Hildebrand, RxMuscle.com.